How's it going, people? Look what I found. This is my grandfather's uh, copy. It's pretty old, falling apart. Yeah, it belonged to my mother's dad, the minister. That's one of the few things we could actually have in common, is uh, talking about how silly the Mormons are. <laughs> I just couldn't talk about how silly he was. Because he believed a lot of silly shit, too. But I liked him still. Probably better than he liked me. Yeah, that's been in a box for a while, and I just dug it out, and it's like, ah, time to, time to maybe reacquaint myself with this book. It's a early 70s edition. Well, let's get to the source. Oh, we're almost done with 3rd Nephi. How about that? So you don't have to have fun to make time fly, huh? 27. Jesus Christ names his church. All things are written by the Father. Men to be judged by what is written in the books that God wrote. It says right here, God wrote them. Father. JC's dad's God, right? Not that Joseph guy. Or that Pantera guy or whoever. Alright. One. And it came to pass. Nice start. Good stuff. That, as the disciples of Jesus were journeying and were preaching the things which they had both heard and seen and were baptizing in the name of Jesus, it came to pass. Thank you. That the disciples were gathered together and were united in mighty prayer and fasting, which makes it even mightier, you know, that when you're fatigued from hunger, you just start getting all those great hallucinations, I guess. Two, and Jesus again showed himself unto them. For they were praying unto the Father in his name. And Jesus came and stood in the midst of them, and said unto them, What will ye that I shall give unto you? Well, it's like rubbing a lamp or something, you know. Whew. That's funny, I used to pray a lot, that never happened. The most I got was a fuzzy feeling. Like that feeling you get, you know, that you give yourself with your imagination. <sighs> Three, JC's very accommodating. And they said unto him, Lord, we will that thou wouldst tell us the name whereby we shall call this church. Er there are disputations among the people concerning this matter. Four. And the Lord said unto them, Verily, verily, that counts. Oh. I say unto you, why is it that the people should murmur and dispute because of this thing? Why? And they settled on Mormon, huh? The moronic order. 
Five. Have they not read the scriptures? <laughs> Which say ye must take upon you the name of Christ. Which is my name. That's all that was all the question. All right. For by this name he shall be called at the last day. Six. And whoso taketh upon him my name and endureth to the end, the same shall be saved at the last day. Seven. Therefore, whatsoever ye shall do, ye shall do it in my name. Everything. Therefore, ye shall call the church in my name, the Jesus Church. I've seen one of those. I've seen the Jesus people, and I've seen a lot of Jesus freaks. And ye shall call upon the Father in my name, that he will bless the church for my sake. Eight. And how be it my church save it be called in my name? Yeah, really. Write his name on the building, too, while you're at it. That's fine. For if the church be called in Moses' name, or if it be called in the name of a man, then it be the church of a man. But if it be called in my name, then it is my church. Give those labeling machines, you know. If it be, if it so be that they are built upon my gospel, I mean, they can't just like use his name for a bunk church, right? Nine. Barely. Just one. I should just take a sip. I say unto you that ye are built upon my gospel. You twelve. Twelve hungry dudes. Hungry and hallucinating. Therefore ye shall call whatsoever things ye do call in my name. Therefore if ye call upon the Father for the church, if it be in my name, the Father will hear you. Uh, hope it says me. Hope it says me. Ten. And if it be so, wait, if it so be that the church is built upon my gospel, then the Father will show forth his own works in it. Wow. That should be, that, that must be something. I bet you can like handle snakes and they won't bite you. And dance around and the oh, wrong one, huh? It's so confusing. Especially those who believe in shit. Eleven. Yeah, why don't Mormons talk in tongues anymore? In this book, in the other one there too. But they don't do it, right? Or do they do it in private? Those secret, the sonic things. Who are there? Whatever. Eleven. But if it. Be not built upon my gospel, and is built upon the works of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have joy in their works, 
for a season. And reward. And buy and buy. The end cometh. And they are hewn down and cast into the fire from whence there is no return. Well, for their works do follow them. For it is because of their works that they have, they are hewn down. Therefore, remember the things that I have told you. Thirteen. Behold, I have given unto you my gospel. And this is the gospel which I have given unto you. <laughs> oh, God. No, you didn't. All right. <laughs> Behold, I have given unto you my gospel, and this is the gospel which I have given unto you. You only need, need to say one of those. Come on. That I came into the world to do the will of my Father because my Father sent me. Wow. Makes sense. Fourteen. And my Father sent me that I might be lifted up upon the cross. And after that, I had been lifted up upon the cross that I might draw all men unto me. That as I had been lifted up by men, even so should men be lifted up by the Father. Makes perfect sense. Phrase it like that. And I drank some, took some old chug. Uh, to stand before me to be judged of their works. It's all about works here. Whether they be good or whether they be fifteen. And for this cause have I been lifted up three days later. Wow. Therefore, according to the power of the Father, I will draw all men unto me that they may be judged according to their works. Metatronic, folks. Jamendo.com. Free fucking download. It's royalty free, too. Do what I'm doing. Hopefully. Sixteen, and it finally came to pass. It came to pass. Excuse me. I added that. I was getting impatient. Oh, that's so nice. Splendid. And it shall come to pass that her so repented and is baptized in my name. shall be filled. And if he endure it to the end, behold, he will I hold guiltless before my Father at that last, at that day, when I shall stand and judge the world. Seventeen. Does he do it first, or does Osiris do it first? Because I think he's got to, like, weigh our hearts against a feather first. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of those gods out there, and get my god. And avatars of gods. You name it. Nothing original. Uh. 
Nope, whoop, whoop, whoop. Hang on, where the fuck am I? That's the damn it. Uh, 17. And he then endures not until the end. Close but no cigar. The same as he that is also hewn down and cast into the fucking fire. From whence they can no more return because of the justice of the Father. Tons and tons of repetition. And everywhere else in here. Written on gold. Eighteen. And this is the word which he hath given unto the children of men. And for this cause he fulfilleth the words which he hath given. And he lieth not, but fulfilleth all his words. <laughs> Except that, that comes from the bull. <laughs> Nineteen. And no unclean thing can enter his kingdom. Therefore, nothing entereth into his rest, save it be those who have washed their garments in my blood. Because of their faith and the repentance of all their sins and their faithfulness unto the end. So it's not just your faith, it's your continuous faith. And he needed to say that twice in verse 19. 20. Exactly. Now, this is the commandment. Repent, all ye ends of the earth, and come unto me, and be baptized in my name, that ye may be sanctified by the rece reception of the Holy Ghost, that ye may stand spotless before me at the last day. 21. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the first. This is my cause. And ye know the things that ye must do in my church. For the works which ye have seen me do, that shall ye also do. For that which ye have seen me do, even that shall ye do. Wow. 22. Therefore, if ye do these things, listen are ye. For ye shall be lifted up at the last day. Something tells me this chapter is a little inflated with uh, repetition. And they're omitting stuff. They admitted it. And the bridging. What the fuck? If I were bridging this book, it could fit into a fortune cookie. Be like, this is one heavy ass fortune cookie. What is that, a gold fortune slip? Twenty three. Write the words which ye have seen and heard, save it be those which are forbidden. Twenty four. Write the words of this people, which shall be even as hath been written of that which hath been. 25. For behold, out of the books which have been written, 
and which have been, which shall be written. Shall this people be judged, or by them shall the works be known unto men? 26. And behold, all things are written by the Father. You said that before, too. Therefore, out of the books which shall be written, shall the world be judged. Maybe that was in the master. I'll give him that one. I'm not going back and look. 47. And know ye that ye shall be judged of this people according to the judgment which I shall give unto you, which shall be just. That's nice. Therefore, that manner of men... Wait, therefore, what manner of men ought ye to be? Verily I say unto you, even as I am. No thanks. 28. And now I go unto the Father, and verily I say unto you, I should have drank to that phrase, or overusing that, that one now. More than you'll find in the Bible. Well, whatsoever things ye shall ask the Father in my name shall be given unto you. On and on they repeat themselves. Nothing fucking new. This is all inflated word count. 39! Therefore, ask, and ye shall receive. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For he that asketh receiveth and unto him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Oh, wonderful. Thirty. And now, behold, my joy is great. Even unto fullness. You're almost full. He's topping off the tank. This faith tank. Oh. Because of you! This tank is almost full. Yea, and even the Father rejoices. And also, all the holy angels who shot him full of hulks. <laughs> because of you and this generation, that generation you mean, for none of them are lost. Wow. All you need is a Jesus in person to heal, and nobody's lost. Thirty-one. Behold, I would that ye should understand, for I mean them who are now alive of this generation. Yeah, I got that. Of this generation. And none of them are lost. And in them I have fullness of joy. We did get that, and verse 31 was fucking unnecessary. 32. Try to do better. <clears throat> but, behold, it sorroweth me because of the fourth generation from this generation. No, oh, future time. Uh oh, he's going into prophet mode. Moroni. Or is that Jesus? Who's talking? Moroni? Mormon or Jesus? I think Jesus is quoting. Mormon is quoting Jesus right now. I mean, them. For they are led away captive by him. Even as was the son of perdition. For they will sell me for silver and for gold. No, it was just silver. I think about 30 pieces, if I remember right. Uh, 
<laughs> that, wait, that's the price of a slave in, like, Levitical law, isn't it? And for that which moth doth corrupt, and which thieves can break through and steal, damn them, moth too. And in that day will I visit them, even in turning their works upon their own head. 33. And it came to pass that. I turn the page. When Jesus had ended these sayings, it was Jesus' talking. I got confused. He said unto his disciples, Enter ye in that straight gate, for straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life, and few there be that find it. That sounds promising. But wide is the gate and broad. I like broads. What's wrong with broads? And broad the way which leads to death. Hey, come on, man. It's not their fault. They are made that way. And if there's a God, God bless them for that. All right. It brought us a way that leads to death. Wow. That sucks. <sighs> and many there be that travel therein. Until the night cometh, wherein no man can work. We read that part already. And that's it for 27. And we got, what, 28? 29 and 30? That's it. And 4th Nephi is one chapter long. Then we get to, like, I will find, we'll, we'll drive off that bridge when we get there. <laughs> Let's do some uh, DNC, folks. Peace. Really, I wish. The fuck? Once in a while would be nice. Out. And have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I want you to, and that should be enough, right? Right? I don't know. Bye.